cool stuff. Breaking What If Season 2 episode titles revealed. Bowl. Let's see what everything always has to say about this and check this out. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Happy Loki Week. It is right around the corner on Thursday. And of course, we'll be starting up the watch parties again at the channel. I cannot wait to see you guys. Some of you over the weekend asked about the reviews and the reactions. The embargo is actually up tonight at midnight, so make sure to check back at the channel. Our reactions tonight, the reviews tomorrow. Don't worry, no spoilers in bulk. Now, about two weeks ago, we got a list of rough descriptions that were said to be matched to episodes of the upcoming season two of What If that's now heavily rumored to drop this year and around Christmas in December. But over the last 24 hours and coming from one of our Twitter scoopsters, we now have a full list of episode titles. We're going to go through them all, and there's one little catch. He revealed 10 episodes, and the series is only said to have 9. We're going to talk about it, which one of those is probably not in, and how it lines up with some of the other descriptions we heard from weeks ago. Again, we're breaking down the newest title reveals for the upcoming Season 2 of What If? But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of thing's for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway the next one is right around the corner for loki's finale and we're also doing a daily comic book giveaway all the way through october again all you got to do be a sub leave a comment on this video if you want stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so i would issue the lightest of spoiler warnings here but real talk some of the episodes in season two actually had frames that were included in season one promo we broke them down at the channel some of this has been out there and for quite some time. Now, according to the infamous Twitter scoopster, Can We Get Some Toast, who I remind you we cover at the channel quite often and has quite a reliable track record over the last two years publicly on their Twitter, tweeted out this, quote, the actual episode titles for What If Season 2 release order subject to change. And I've also got that same description list that has different details right here side by side. And we're going to annotate it as we go. He says, episode one is what if Nebula joined the Nova Corps? And that lines up with what if Gamora killed Thanos? So during this episode, it's assumed now that Gamora will actually be the arch-villain. They'll end up facing off sister against sister or what would have been sister against sister during the episode. He indicates episode two's title is what if Peter Quill attacked Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And if you line that up with one of the episodes from the description list, that's the one where Yondu's actually going to deliver Peter Quill back to Ego as he was originally instructed instead of keeping him during our original timeline. So now you're going to get to see Peter Quill, all Ego infused, fighting against the Avengers. That sounds amazing. Episode 3, he indicates the title is What If Gohori Reshaped the World? And as we heard from the description list, and we had talked about at the channel almost a year ago, this is going to be the introduction of a brand new Marvel character in Gohori. And when matching this to the description list, it says, What if the Tesseract had landed in the, and I apologize if I mispronounce this, landed in the Haudenswani Confederacy before the colonization of America? Again, that's a new hero in Gohori that they'll be introduced, and there's rumors that that character is going to be voiced by Amber Mid-Thunder. Eventually, we might even see her in live action. That's the actress who absolutely killed it in that latest Predator movie. Now, episode four, he indicates what if Hela had found the Ten Rings, and when you mash that up over to the description list, it's what if Odin and Hela had faced Wen Wu, and that's honestly another episode that sounds absolutely hype. You have to wonder what's exactly going to happen there, them crossing over two seemingly opposite parts of the MCU. He indicates episode 5 is what if Iron Man crashed into the Grandmaster. This is the heavily anticipated Sakaar Buster that we've seen again in one of those original frames from Promo 1. And interestingly enough, when you try to match that over to the description list, that's the one that doesn't have a match here and why there's 10 on his list and only 9 on the descriptions. Going on from there, he indicates that episode 6 is what if Happy Hogan saved Christmas. Again, we've heard rumors this may actually drop around Christmas, how fitting it would be for them to drop that episode and at the exact same time. By the way, that may be the reason they're releasing it so close to Christmas. That's literally the same thing it says on the description list as well for this episode. Episode 8, he indicates the title is What If Captain Carter Found the Hydra Stomper? And in this case as well, that matches up exactly with what it says over on the description list. The next one is interesting. What if the Avengers assembled in 1602? Maybe we're going to get a look at like retro Avengers. That's an interesting time for them to come together. But matching that over to the description list, that sounds like the episode that What If the Avengers fought searcher so we're going to get to see them in a much different setting Dang. they probably with much different members and i'm wondering again just how many of these they're introducing so we can eventually see them with major actor cameos and during secret wars i'm i'm actually assuming quite a few of them and then episode 10 is what if strange supreme 
intervened, which is super interesting and perhaps a finale of sorts like we saw out of the last episode of the second season. And what I will say is that that doesn't seemingly match up with any of the descriptions on here either, because one of the descriptions from that list was what if Wanda had grown up watching musicals instead of sitcoms, but we don't see that episode referenced at all. So these lists are not completely congruent, but some of them are about 80%, and I would say you can probably put your faith in most of that being correct, but still some secrets around the corner. And again, I think the really cool part about a lot of this is that they can really use What If to introduce some specifically cool and interesting characters, again, that can serve major actor cameos in the way they already did with Captain Carter and hopefully give them a lot more stakes and a lot more to do than they did with the case of the Illuminati during Multiverse of Madness. And I think that gives sort of an interesting stake to a show that otherwise would be insulated and sort of is, but for me is still one of their best offerings on Disney+. Plus. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, reactions to the episodes, and again, we will kick up the watch parties on Thursday, and now, of course, the episodes are at a reasonable hour, so we're going to go live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 5 p.m. on the West Coast on Thursday, about an hour before the episode goes live. Okay, quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff, explain what's going on. Okay, so we are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel, three more before the end of the year. One for Loki's finale, one with the Marvels that comes out in November, and then one for What If when it comes out in December. Those three, all you gotta do to be entered to win is the same as the daily comic book giveaway we're running all the way through October. And instead of doing a daily winner announcement, I'll just announce the winners in the weekly Easter egg videos that come out after the episode. So be looking for those live on Friday mornings or actually late on Thursday night after the watch parties. And again, it'll be a once a week announcement for seven winners. It'll be live with my voice and the comments shown on screen. Please remember to be vigilant and safe on my channel, really any channel or any platform anybody can take anybody else's photograph claim to be the content creator and say you've won something please never share your details ever on a third party app like whatsapp or telegram and please keep in mind no content creator myself included no one on youtube will a ever try to tell you you've won in the comments and b immediately ask you for shipping so please be safe please be vigilant guys you can find me in a couple of places instagram and twitter at i fires you can also find me on all platforms with original music under the name All Fires, hence the AKA, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music. To those of you who have already supported me, I cannot thank you enough. And if you're curious, again, All Fires on all platforms. Okay, guys, remember to check back tonight at midnight for my spoiler-free reaction, and then tomorrow at noon on the East Coast for my spoiler-free review. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe, like this video, have a great day, and see you guys. Bye. And please subscribe, like this video, and see you guys. Bye.